Garden and Morning Backyard Beekeepers. I've had a lot of questions about a super, honey super. What is it? Why do we add it? And what makes it so different? So, I came out here without my suit on to give you a little example of what the honey super is. This box that is painted a little bit lighter in color, that's pink color, is a honey super. It is smaller than the boxes below. For example, you can tell the size difference. This is a frame from a honey super versus the brood box or the large or also called a deep box. You put these two together, you can see that it is definitely smaller than the frame that is in this box. Now, the purpose of these two bottom boxes is to build honeybees. We want honeybees to grow and reproduce in these two boxes. We want them to fill this top box with honey that we can take a portion of for ourselves. We're going to have to leave a portion for the honeybees because they will use this as feed throughout the winter. Now, how do we keep the queen from going up here and laying eggs and making this another brood box even though it's smaller because she will? Well, we add a queen excluder and the queen excluder is supposed to keep the queen from going up into that top box. Does it always work? No. If the queen is small enough and she can fit between the holes of, the honey, of that queen excluder, she will go up into the honey box and then we'll have to make decisions about what we can get honey from and what we have to leave. Does it hurt the queen? It's not supposed to hurt the queen. Does it hurt the worker bees who are going up in here to build comb and to put honey up there? There is controversy on this as far as I can tell. Some people say yes, it does hurt them as they move between the holes. Some people say no, they've never seen a problem. So I don't know, I decided to go ahead and try it. If you have other questions about a honey soup or anything else bees, just leave a comment and I'll do another one of these little shorts on honey supers. Have a good weekend.